What's going on, everyone? It's Mitch from RespectMyReason.com. We're here at the 2024 Hall of Flowers in Ventura. First time in Ventura, SoCal. I'm here with a special guest, Adam Hill. How you doing? Hey, I'm trying to get high, dude. Hanging out, setting up, you know, they just started. But this is your third blunt I've seen you smoke, right? <laughs> so, Well, this is my first blunt at Hall of Flowers. I think you saw me walking in with like a roach. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so the first one here. Okay. On this property. So what are you doing at this year's Hall of Flowers, man? This year, I am actually set up. We're doing uh, some podcasting, live streaming. Uh, just going to talk to people, see what they got going on, you know, see the state of cannabis. How exciting is it for you to have a Hall of Flowers this close to your home, man? Because I know you, you're not too far from here is where Adam Hill calls home. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm like 60 miles from here, which is a lot better than, you know, going all the way up to Santa Rosa which is six hours, <laughs> or Palm Springs where it's fucking like hot in a parking lot. You know, we're right by the beach. It's convenient for a lot of us. There's a lot of food around here, a lot of places to hang out. And bro, did you see the fucking sunrise this morning? I did not see the sunrise, but we, we were out here yesterday and we saw the sunset. Um, that was that was pretty uh oh, yeah. pretty That was up early running, you know, running, running the boardwalk before everyone woke up watching the sunset. So, man, obviously, you know, you made some some mainstream news this last year for, you know, doing what you're doing now and running a marathon, man. So what you know, I know you've talked about this quite a bit, but what goes into running such long distances and smoking while you're doing it? Uh, look, running sucks. I hate running. I was never a fan of running. Uh, and just like a bucket list thing of mine was to run the L.A. Marathon and it happened to fall on my birthday and I was going through a bunch of shit. So it's just mental, bro. Like, honestly, it's just, it's just you. There's no team. There's no one else telling you to do it. It's just what you and you can, what you can do. So uh, what it takes is just willpower, bro. And just like, in knowing you can do it. We are machines. Like we are able to do whatever we want. Our, originally, like we used to just walk, run, go for like days to find food or to find the next town or, you know, before we had all this technology. So we're built for it. We're just lazy now and everything's so convenient for us. Everyone's on like, motorized wheels that just take them wherever they need to go. <laughs> See? Good. So we're not catching you on hoverboard anytime soon. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, no, no hoverboards anymore. No. no. I'm old, man. I need to get physical. You know, you need to stay active. You need to keep them muscles and, and blood flowing. You keep the muscles active. You know? And then, you know, right here, you got the packaging right here. The Crown OG, Adam Mill drop, man. I, I, what, what went into this? When it's, did this come out? It's Adam Mill OG with Crown Distro. Okay, they're my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crown yeah. Distro, Adam Mill OG. No, no, but Crown also got basic OG. Uh, you know, I just was tired of seeing a bunch of purple candy shit on the market. And I'm a real smoker, you know? I like green weed. I like variety. And I'm from L.A., the Valley, and it's home with the OG. So I'm like a true OG smoker. And there was just a lack of OGs on the market, man. So I finally got to get some and source it. Something that I like and approved of. It was like, this is worthy enough to put my face on. And uh, we did it, bro. Then it's, it sold out. The first batch sold out. So we're dropping the next, next one. And I'm sourcing more flavors, dude. You know, I'm looking for sours. I'm looking for... I'm, I love hazes. I'm a super sativa terp fiend. Yeah, dude. So I love it, man. We need to, you know, I'm up in Washington. There's a severe lack of OG in the entire state. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, we need to get some of this up there. You know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> it's spoken now. The Adam Hill OG. Um, man, where, where do you see kind of this next year in, in the cannabis space down here in California go? Where, where, what's kind of your outlook for 2024? <laughs> um, I mean, it's just getting more and more socially accepted. And there's a lot more people getting involved that don't even know what we'd look like. So, you know, uh, my goal is just to keep the culture alive to make sure people know what can, you know, where we came from, how we started in the real life, not this, you know, the just corporate bros that just trying to put out what they think the market wants and just flood it with bullshit ass mins that are affordable for everyone and people forget what good weed is. We did a lot to get to where we're at today, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're from the late 1900s, bro. It was a different time back then. I love that the late 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, it makes makes us sound old, but I mean it is right. Like when we look at at this cannabis game, you know, rec has only been around, you know, in, in the United States since about 2016. I think it was rec sales started. I know California is like 2018, 2019. Yeah, right? Colorado was the first, right? Yeah, Colorado, and then us in Washington, which I think was I, I think, think Alaska way rec too. Didn't yeah, right, right around, right around there. But I think at least for Washington, I know sales started in 2016. Okay. I voted in. 2012. I mean, Washington's 13, a great right. example of, you know, corporate mids. You guys got a lot of shit Ooh. going on, but like, you know, there isn't really much like, no one's like, damn, this is fire out of Washington. 
Well, that's because we we got it up there. We well, I'm gonna bring you up there, bro. We gonna we gonna get out of the let's go to Washington. We gonna give him a tour because that would never be like, yo, have you seen this from Washington? I, that doesn't happen because a lot of that shit is just craft. There's so much craft. Washington, Oregon is a lot of craft, and it's super small grows. Where like the owners in the in the farm, they're not coming out here to these events. Okay. They're not passing their stuff around. But I promise you. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Adam. I remember, bro. Like, I'm gonna get Adam Mill up to Washington. I remember you guys had like those special fruity, like the like strains. You had like shishka berries and yeah. again, like all these crazy flavors that weren't around, but no one had access to them because you guys are on the P and Dub. Yep. And they don't expand the P and Dub. And that U Dub purple, man. You know what I'm saying? Which which I don't even know. They said it was grown in the lab at the University of Washington. I don't even know if that shit's true. But the U Dub perps, man. I will. Uh, it's cool. I mean, it was I like much. Weed. It was cooler back in the day. You know what I mean? It was cooler back in the day. You don't see it as much. Green anymore. weed, but make green weed great again. I feel that. So we out here, 2024, Hall Flowers, Ventura, SoCal, Adam Millman. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Stay tuned for more content coming up. Yeah, follow me too. Shameless plugs, dude. <laughs>